We have been invited by the Smithsonian to uh, participate in the 2012 Folk Life Festival. So we're here uh, with a dinosaur exhibit. It's uh, one of the uh, great examples of research and education at Montana State University. Well, what they can see here is, I mean, they can, they can actually see what we actually do. I mean, we have, we have uh, plaster jackets from the field. They can, they can participate in, in, in seeing how the rock is removed from the bone and, and get some notion as to you know, how we actually go from having a dinosaur bone to having an idea of what the animal was like when it was alive. This is Jurassic and T Rex is Cretaceous. You're right. <laughs> Way to go, man. You are a dinosaur, dinosaur person. Nothing engages children more than dinosaurs. And that's why we need to pitch our message, because those children will be the future students of Montana State University, and we want for them to come with their imaginations and fire. And that's exactly what the dinosaur exhibit will do for them. They will take them, them to those remote time and places, and I'm sure that when kids walk throughout this exhibit, they are not going to be here in Washington, D.C. They're going to be in a wonderful place in their imagination. My name is Jackson Gerald Chara, and I'm from Austin, Minnesota. Ever since I got my first dinosaur toy, I've always been interested in dinosaurs and growing up to be a paleontologist. What do we know about Spinosaurus? Well, some people think that the spine is for sticking out of the water while it swims and catches fish. Well, I got a picture with him, and it's Jack Horner from the that made the Jurassic Park films. Today's just really a fun day for me. I dug up a dinosaur, and I and I touched a Triceratops horn. <laughs> 